So, when I do all my YouTube videos, I keep all the raw footage. Uh, mostly down to the fact that I sometimes pick bits from like other videos and use it in the newer videos and I like to keep the footage just so I can go back and see where I went wrong, what I could have done better. But you know, you're talking each video is anywhere between 10 gig up to 50 gig depending on the size of the video, the length and all that good stuff. And where do I keep them? Well, ironically, I keep them on two and a half inch drives and I get them on Amazon and they're about, you know, between 20 and 50 pound each, about round about between one and two terabytes. So it all really depends. You know, I've got some there. I've got a 10 terabyte drive that I've recently just filled up. I've now just put in a new one. I think it's one of the Seagate volumes. I'm not too sure. Um, and that's what I use. But the problem with them is they're as what I call naked hard drives. They don't have covers because you always, you know, if you get external hard drives with covers, you end up paying like an extra 30, 40, 50 pound for a cover. And that is it. Just a cover. So I buy the naked hard drives is what I call them. And when I'm on the go, I found that sometimes they tend to get a little bit knocked around, scratched. And the last thing I really want is all of that, all that footage just disappearing. So I got one of these. And as always, today's video was sponsored by VIP SCD Key. Now, VIP SCD Key are a genuine platform that do sell uh, Windows 10 Pro OEM keys that does allow an automatic upgrade to Windows 11 for free, as well as so many other products. So why don't we go have a look and I'll roughly show you what I'm talking about. So guys, this is what we are looking at today. And this is Windows 10 Pro OEM CD Key Global Lifetime. So as you can see, it's at Great British Pounds at the moment at about £15.97. So what I'm going to do is show you exactly how the purchase process works. Now, what we need to do is go over to where it says buy now, give that a click, and we'll transfer it over to this page. Where we can say order confirmation, it tells you how much you're going to be spending, and promotion code, which is courses SKJT. Now, from here, you need to apply it. As you can see, it's down to £11.98, and you've just had a reduction of £3.99. So click on pay now and we'll go for the process. What we're going to do, type in activation, click on activation settings, change product key. And then this is where we're going to copy and paste our new product key. Mine's blurred out, yours won't be. Going to hit next. What Windows is actually going to do is check to make sure this is a genuine Windows 10 Pro OEM key. If it's not, we'll get an error. But if it is a genuine key, Windows will allow us to activate it. And there you go. You have just upgraded to Windows 10 Pro for less than £15. So guys, this is what we're looking at today. This is a 2.5 inch HDD drive, hard drive, external case. Now this is for driveless, high speed, plug and play, and also excellent performance. Now, I use one of these all the time for many reasons. Now, what we're going to do is go into the process of unboxing it, and I'm going to roughly show you how to get it installed and all that good stuff. I'm also going to show you a different device you can use if you don't want to spend that little extra bit of money to actually get yourself one of these. So just on the sides here, we can see there is a few things, but it's also covered up by a sticker, which isn't very helpful. But this is what we're looking at. Let's get this unboxed and actually see what we're working with. Very simple what you actually get in the box, which isn't exactly a great deal. You don't get a great amount of stuff, to be honest with you. You don't really need it. There's not really a massive need for this amount. So what we get is we get the external hard drive case. We get a USB to USB type C, and we also get some foam padding. So we do have a USB to USB type C little cable there. You don't need a massive one, but obviously they're very generic cables. Uh, we also have the actual drive itself. So this is a USB Type-C drive, as we can see just there. And then that just pops open. So this will be the carrier where your hard drive will go. And then we also get some little foam padding. So that is pretty much all we get. Now, I will put links down in the description for this, obviously, but there is another one. So there is also this type. Now, these are much cheaper. I have to say you can get these for on Amazon for next to nothing. I'll pop some links in the description if you want to go check them out. But these are just a short cable, which is a simple USB to the actual power and SATA data cable, which is on the back there, which you find on all uh, two and a half inch drives. So what we're going to be using as a test today is this. This is a one terabyte Barracuda drive. This is a two and a half inch drive. I'll also put links in the description for this guy as well. But this seamlessly is how it is. So I use these drives all the time for all my, my raw footage for my YouTube videos. So I know where they are. I know where they're stored. I have loads of these. 
and they're just quite convenient for myself a lot of people buy you know huge server units and toasters i have them as well just i find these are a little bit easier for transferring data if i'm going away for a while i want to do editing on the roads um i can take one of these with me and it's no issue but the only difference is is they're not protected so if i've got this in my bag and you know this gets damaged i've pretty much lost everything apart from sending it over to you know a place to get it all redone and that's not really something i want to do so well, if we'll look at the short one for a minute, these ones are very simple. They are simple as just plug and play. You line up the little L shapes together, they plug in like that, and then you just plug that straight into your device and you're pretty much good to go. There's not really any, any issue about it. Now, all good and well, these are just for in-home or in-practice uh, areas, but the device itself is still not protected. You've still got a big opening here, which you can get either water damage or, you know, you can drop things, scratch them, break them. And I don't know, I don't really fancy... Uh, you know making a terabyte worth of filming again so i decided to grab one of these and these are also relatively really cheap obviously like i said links in the description now these are as simple as that one just line up the pulleys which is you've got two little prongs either side there and that just slides in and that is it you are good to go and simply the case all you do is on the case the case just slides back on like that you click it in and that's your two and a half inch drive now as you can hear, that does wobble around a little bit. So what you can do is you can grab these little strips they've given us. And what we're going to do is I'm going to pop one on this side. And I'm going to pop another one. Quite convenient that I give you three. I'm only going to use two, though, because I don't really need to use all three. And I'm going to pop that one there. What this basically stops is the plastic rattling off the hard drive. So pop that back on. Nothing major, though, so that's pretty cool. But there we go, there we have it. So as we can see on the side there, we have USB 3.1, little LED indicator. So when I do get this plugged in, that is going to indicate that it's running. And that is pretty much it. So this is just a little video just showing you roughly of how I actually keep my drives protected, especially when I'm using them on the go. It really is an important thing to actually make sure you keep these safe and sound, especially if you've got important information on. The last thing you want to do is actually end up getting these ruined or getting them wrecked. You know, that's the last thing you really do need. So it's definitely a, a thumbs up for me, 100%. But I definitely recommend if you're always on the go with hard drives and they're bare, go grab yourself one. They're really cheap. They're really easy. And it took two seconds to install. So guys, there was, that was today's video. And it's pretty much all regarding how to protect your two and a half inch drives. If you do do that sort of stuff like I do, and you do go on the go and you're moving around, or even if you've just got one around your house and you want to keep it protected, that's definitely something you need to go for. So I will pop links down in the video description so you can go check one out for yourself. But as always, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any further videos.